Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss there is a severe problem ongoing in um, Mortuwa, University of Mortuwa uh, in engineering department. So uh, they have published some notices so we are going to discuss about that and yeah, in this video we are going to mainly discuss five key topics what's the matter ongoing in University of Mortuwa currently now and the second one is what are the steps needed to be taken uh, by the students uh, who are willing to enter to uh, like willing to um apply for university of morocco uh, for their higher education for engineering degree specifically and benefit of this method of uh, how they are going to implement this field selection process and fourth one possible disadvantages and fifth one why they have taken such decisions so we are going to discuss these five and if you are new to this ex uh, channel expert tutor uh, please uh, comment uh, please subscribe and like this video so and also this is these are my personal views so this uh, news came yesterday and all of the students are giving their personal opinions so i just wrote uh, read them and i'm also having some personal opinions so i'm going to present it to you and also if i make any mistakes if you think that there might be some suggestions from your side also just comment it below i can also learn from that and also if other people want they can also come and join with you okay so the first thing is what's the matter it's ongoing in engineering uh, degree at university of morocco so the thing is um, in engineering degree as you might have already known that there are several fields in engineering there is electronics and telecommunication biomedical engineering mechanical computer science there are several fields nearly six, five or six fields are there uh, especially in uh, university of morocco there are so many fields in other universities as well so the thing is let's say if a students wants to enroll in any of these fields what they normally do is they will be entering to university of morocco first and after that they will be having their first semester which is equivalent to uh, their first term normally in school likewise you will be uh, taught these first term um, first semester modules which are from each department let's say one module would be from electrical department another one from mechanical department and one is from computer science department likewise you will be learning a group of modules and after that you will be having your final semester exam at that time you will be having some knowledge of these departments and their subjects as well as um, also you will be uh, tested in this area in the engineering field specifically and after that you will be having these exams from those exams the higher rank students will be getting the privilege to enroll to any of these fields or else if you get a lower rank you won't be getting the chance to enter into any of your field you like so there are two options if you get a higher rank you will be having the opportunities to choose their own choose your own department otherwise you won't be getting it's kind of similar to university zap score let's say if you are going to like to enroll to university of morocco you need to have certain zap score so that's actually based on the students semester marks or students that score that they have taken for the a levels and who are willing to apply for this particular university likewise even for this engineering field let's say after the first semester exams the students will be uh, willing to apply for each department according to their semester that semester gpa as well as semester uh the number of students that they apply likewise there are some there will be some cutoffs for each department that's actually based on the number of students who are applying and their with their results so this process is going to be changed uh with this a level zap score so we are going to uh, in the next question as i have already mentioned we are going to uh, tell that what's the steps needed to taken by this student let's say so as i have already mentioned if you are normally entering to the university of morocco and if you are having this uh, first semester course and you will be having some exams based on those engineering fields but now what they have decided is they are going to actually select for the fields uh, based on your zap score which means you can enter into your into university of morocco after that you will be studying this first semester modules and after that you will be uh, normally having these exams but at that time they won't considering your first semester results instead of that you will be having the chance to apply for these fields field of studies departments 
and you will be selected not based on this semester one results instead of that they are going to use this exact score so that's the thing that uh, that's going to happen as they have mentioned but there are some um, activities that they are on ongoing so let's wait and see what whether they are going to change the decision or not so the next problem is the next question is what's the steps needed to taken by the students so here i'm going to present uh, what are the semester uh, marks which means like what's the cutoff like rank cutoff for each department which incurred last time the previous years so i'm going to present only for um, one year so it will change according to the students preference at that batch so always remind of that so this is for the selection of e21 batch so let's say according to e21 for biomedical uh, they have only selected 15 students biomedical engineering so the final rank that they have entered is 210 which means if you convert into that score island rank if you get the rank before 210 you will be able to enter to this field biomedical engineering but it actually depends on the number of students who are willing to apply and their that score so it's just a general thing that you will be having an idea of what's the ranks of these departments so bm biomedical there is only 15 students the rank was 210 at e21 for electronics and telecommunication the rank was 189 that final rank they have only chosen 100 students for that department the final rank the students uh, who has entered at the border level has got the rank of 189 okay so let's move to the next one computer science and engineering so for that they have uh, taken 200 students the number of uh, level the the final rank the cutoff rank was 570 so for the electrical engineering department the um, final rank was 604 so they have actually vacancy for 100 students but for now the, they i think they have actually taken 90 students but i'm not sure but the final rank was 604 so it actually depends on the number of students as i have already mentioned for mechanical engineering they have taken 100 students the final rank was 677 and for civil engineering they have taken 122 students which was 738 so that's what happened and after that uh, chemical and process engineering and the final they have taken 78 students and the final rank was 689 and for material and science material science and engineering they have taken 45 students actually i think the count is higher but if the maximum students are willing to like if that's the number of students who are willing to enter that uh, there won't be additional numbers so that's what happened so the rank was 716 the final rank they have only taken 45 students so these are the things that they that happened in e21 batch like previous batch who have who are now doing the third semester which means second year uh, in this engineering degree program so these are the things you need to know so so what you should do is actually the thing is the main purpose there, there are so many purposes so we'll be discussing that later the thing is if you are a student who are willing to apply let's say computer science engineering program so normally these ranks will be followed i think i personally think that normally these ranks will be followed so let's say if you are having the rank of 600 island rank there is a high chance that you won't be able to get this computer science engineering degree because like the last intake for this 21 this is not the last week there's one intake after this batch which i have mentioned so so in that case only four the rank sorry um yeah the rank who got 570 got this final section within this uh, computer science engineering so if you got the rank of 600 island rank of 600 probably you won't be getting the chance to enter this computer science engineering department so in that case if you're always willing to if you have the plan to actually uh, come into this computer science 
you have the privilege that you already knew that you are not going to get into this department. There's a high chance you won't be getting into this department. So you can decide whether you are going to go and check whether you are going to get or else uh, whether you can apply to another university. Let's say Peradeniya Engineering and you will be, you might be having the exams. They are, uh, in those universities, they haven't changed this uh, field selection process. Only at University of Florida they have changed. So there you can go and check whether you are going to get a, like you will be having the exams and you can try for that. But in Moratua, you always know that you are not going to get, uh, you can compare with this rank and just uh, know that whether you are going to get or not. So this is how you need to check. Let's say if you are going to get the 400, you have got the 400 rank in island rank in alien research, you might not be getting the chance to enter into electronics and telecommunication department. So it's actually um, based on the students apply, number of students applying. But the thing is, you actually know what's going to happen, what might be happen, what's the possible chance. So that's one benefit of this method. So now let's move into the benefits. So this is how it's going to work. You will be checking whether you will be getting, you will be having a rough idea it's because I have kept told for only for one batch intake. If it's possible, if I get some more information about previous batches, I will be posting that down. So you can always uh, check that. So from that, you will be getting an idea whether you are, you will be getting that chance. And with that, uh, you can uh, uh, check and you can, if you want, you can analyze whether you are going to go apply for another university. Likewise, you can change your preference. So that's the important benefit of this. The thing is, let's say if you have entered into university and you are in the first semester results, you are getting 600 track. At that time, even if you don't like any other departments uh, other than computer science or any particular departments, if you are not getting the chance, you are forcefully, which means you should apply for another field which you are not interested. But if you have already known that, let's say with this 600 island rank, if you are not going to select it for that computer science field or something, the particular field, you should have applied for another computer science field or any other degree program that are available in other universities. So that's one of the major benefit of this program, field selection method. So, so this is the, I think in my personal view, this is the only advantage of this uh, field selection method. But the thing is, it's not um, going to give a benefit unless they uh, have this process in each and every university, engineering university in Sri Lanka. Otherwise, we won't be having that much, this change won't be having that much effect for the students unless we are going to implement in all other engineering universities. And also, there are so many demerits in this side. So let's discuss that. So the first one is there is not, there is no correlation between the first semester results as well as the A-level ZAP score. Let's say when I'm considering myself, I get, I have got 83rd rank in island rank in A-levels, but here I got 169th. Because like there might be several reasons for each student. So we have just gone through some, I have done some survey. So there were 60 votes, uh, 60 responses from, I actually uh, made a survey for our batch. So it's most of the students from ENTC. So I have just filtered out them and I have checked in those 60 students, nearly uh, only like 15 or 16 students got higher rank or the rank, island rank, which is supposed to be entered into ENTC department. So in those cases, there will be, it's kind of no correlation between them. Because in the first semester results, 100 students have entered, let's say that 60 students have entered. But if you are comparing with the, their island rank, they haven't have the chance to enter into ENTC department. So this is the major impact on this. The thing is, in A-level, this is not an engineering based thing. There are some chemistry, there is a chemistry module, chemistry subject. Actually in engineering, it won't be having that much connections with engineering and also if you are going to have this engineering actually you need to have some kind of idea of what are the fields actually they are even if you finish your first semester first semester 
at universities, you won't be having much idea what's going to, uh, what they are going to teach in each department. So in that case, how a student of uh, which is which have just finished their levels knows that this how to choose the, their uh, favorite departments. So that means there are so many issues. But the thing is, they will be having the chance uh, for the first semester pre-academics and the first semester. But the thing is, whether uh, it's okay to choose these students with this A-level set score. The thing is, there is not much correlation between that. So the second issue is, um, yeah, they have mentioned why they have taken this decision. So in those questions, they have mentioned like there are several reasons, but one of the major reasons was uh, many people, many students are coming from rural areas are not good at English. In those cases, they are getting struggled during this first semester period. That's why they are not get, they are not performing well during their first semester. But the thing is whether this is the only method that they have they can follow to stop this problem. Like say, is this the only method to choose with the that score instead of sorry that score instead of this semester reason? What they have done is they can do is actually they can prolong this period of this pre academics which they will they will be teaching the English subjects and likewise they will be doing these English things. So the thing is, they have several options, but why they have chosen this method? And also, as I have already mentioned these engineering subjects are not actually related or fully based on this uh, level thing that you are you are learning so these are the main concerns that were asked by the students there are some student activities i think there are most of the students are uh, raising their voices against this action so let's wait and see whether they are going to change it or not but for now they have published this notice in this in their website which means for this current date, they are actually planning to implement that. They are going to implement that. So we should wait and see what's going to uh, happen in future. So for now, if you are, are a student, you are willing to apply for these um, universities. So just wait for some time and learn about each department and just think or just uh, find out what department, which department you are going to study which field you are going to study after that check whether your island rank matches with the uh, with these results or with these um, final year results that i have uh, given in the description of in the comment section so you will be getting an idea of whether you will be able to go to that department particular department so after that if you want to change let's say if you are not willing to do if you have the enough data that you are anyhow not going to get this get into that department you can enroll to any other universities in that field or else you can choose any other better options so this is these are my personal views if i have made any mistakes please feel free to comment it below thank you for watching